Happy New Year, everybody! Welcome to 2016! Starting the new year right, riding the motorcycles. Hello, everyone. Looks like I get to be a commuter for who knows how long. Yesterday, I drove the GTO because I thought that my daily driver, Toyota Matrix, needed a battery. And it did need a battery, but I replaced it and it still wouldn't start. No clicks, no nothing, just dead. But I'm pretty sure the starter is fried today. I'm commuting on the Duke because I'd rather drive this in the rain, or at least rain like this, than the GTO. How many of you guys are commuters, commute on motorcycles? Kind of lands you in a tough spot sometimes, at least me. I'm not used to commuting on a motorcycle or having to rely. Motorcycle's always been a toy. No, I've ridden it in, in, you know, like nasty conditions and stuff like that, but still, motorcycle's usually been a pleasure, not a necessity to get to work. It's good that I have it, though. It would be pretty tough if the Matrix was my only vehicle. I have a respect for those who commute in colder climates and nastier climates. Just hope there's no other idiots on the road. I'm fine. It's just everybody else, you know? So I ended up taking the GTO yesterday. Thing drove amazing. Started fine. It hasn't started since the last drift event that I was beating on it. Amazing car. The Duke's not a bad option for this. It's not a fairing bike, so it doesn't get all all the fairings nasty and everything. If it does get wet, I can just wash it off. So, running errands on lunch. Everybody said I look like a Power Ranger. Got all suited up. I'm interested to hear, what's your guys' worst weather story? Or worst rain story? I'd have to say, my worst weather story had to be fog. I think it was my 2005 R1. I think that was my worst experience on a motorcycle in the in the like weather wise i've never really driven too much in the rain but one evening we went down to the coast and when we left it was warm it was fine but then as we started getting closer and closer to the coast it got really foggy and by the time we actually got there because there was so much traffic you couldn't see like five feet ten feet in front of you I mean it was some of the thickest fog I think I've ever seen and we got there and we were soaking wet the, so the fog was so thick we couldn't really see out of our visors and we were soaked through our we just wore it was summer gear so it was textile and we got soaked through that finally once we stopped we bought jackets at like rain jackets at Walmart put them on over everything and that kind of kept us a little bit warmer we stopped and we had to get food because we were starving so I mean it was already foggy so we might as well do something while we're down at the coast totally not prepared for this and then we put rain -X on our visors so it would stream off instead of collect and just blur our vision thank you Walmart at the coast that was nice we ended up stopping on the highway on the shoulder and because we couldn't see we Where? stopped in front of a, an entrance. It wasn't used anymore, but we saw it there. We were like, oh no, are we going to get run over? And fortunately, the ground was pretty dry because it was all air, air molecules. So it wasn't really hazardous for actually riding, you know, the motorcycles and slipping or anything. But nobody could see us, really, and we couldn't see anything. So, yeah, super sketch. I got to get a Red Bull. I'm sorry. I'm so tired. Yeah, I like the shifter position much more. Yes. Give myself a couple of these dudes. I love Red Bull. And Red Bull. Purchased. Put it in my little backpack. I hear you, little servo. I hear you in there. Really? 
Really? You're gonna do this to me? Bitch. Bitch, please. Don't got time for this shit. Ain't nobody got time for that. Why? Why do you do this? <sighs> Fucking bitch ass motherfucker. Ha! I win. I win this time. And off to the races. I didn't get to eat anything over lunch, so hopefully I'll get a chance to munch on stuff at work. La 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 la. Scary people everywhere. That's my fog story. Pretty simple, but at the time it was really sketchy. And not being able to see while you're on a motorcycle in back roads and there's no lights, not cool. So what are y'all's? You can either reply and vlog or in the comments, whatever you want. What are y'all's worst experiences with weather on a motorcycle? I'm sure you guys got some doozies 